shouting hooray. Because we're in living color. Oh, we're in living color. We're, we're in, in living, living color, color today. <laughs> Award. Oh, hi, boys and girls. Well, kids, this is our 2,343rd Howdy Doody show. And kids, it's also our last Howdy Doody show. And you know, after almost 13 years, the Howdy Doody show will end today. And today, kids, we're going to have a full one-hour show and we would like to dedicate this to all of you boys and girls who have watched our shows so faithfully throughout these many, many years. But kids, we're going to have lots of fun and lots of laughs. And I, what is it, Clarabelle? Oh, and Clarabelle has got a big surprise for all you children, right, kid? Big. Biggest? The world's biggest surprise. Well, great. Well, what is it, Clarabelle? Kids, watch. Oh. Uh, Clarabelle says that if you kids want to know what the surprise is, you just keep watching the show. Say, kids, what time is it? <laughs> It's the 2,343rd Howdy Doody Show, starring Howdy Doody and Buffalo Bob Smith. Well, howdy, boys and girls. Howdy! Ah, uh, kids, no one in our peanut gallery today. And it's all my fault. I, I keep imagining that I'm hearing the kids, but of course, there's no one here. Kids, it's all my fault, too, that there are no boys and girls in the peanut gallery today because, well, we were all so busy, you know, packing and getting ready to leave that I just didn't invite any peanuts to sit in the gallery. I keep thinking I hear them, but of course we know they're not there. Ordinarily, if there were kids, well, right now I'd be saying, well, howdy, boys and girls, howdy! Well, it couldn't be. I know there's nobody there, but... You know, actually, I thought I just heard those kids hollering howdy again. Whee! Hi, Buffalo baby, well, sweetheart. Sandra, Watch how out. are you? Oh, wonderful. Sandra, I'm, I'm glad you're here because, really? look, I, I want you to listen carefully. Oh. Tell me if you think you hear anyone answer me. Okay, Sandra? Sure. All right, now, now just listen. What's the matter? Howdy, boys and girls, howdy! <laughs> See, I must be hearing things, well, Sandra. Well, of course you're I... hearing. Things, silly. What? You're hearing the kids in the peanut gallery. But Sandra, there are no kids in the peanut gallery. Look, I didn't invite any. No, you didn't, but I did. Man, you didn't really expect me to make my last public appearance without an audience, did you? Well, no, well, but the I... kids are there, all right. You just can't see them. I can't see them. No. Well, bless your heart, Sandra. Well, look. Do you think you could make them visible? We could all see them, then. <laughs> Can I make them visible? Yeah. <laughs> Are you putting me on that? No, I'm not, Sandra. Well, I've been the witch on this show for 13 years, yeah, and you're that. asking me if I can do a simple little trick like that. You can, can I do that? Yeah. <laughs> well, of course I can make those oh, kids well, visible. Do it, Sandra. Go, do it, do it, do it. Really? Yeah. You want me to? Yes. All right, what's this? All right, go ahead. Woo! The peanut gallery kids are here. And when you snap your fingers, they'll appear! Hey, hey Sandra! <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful, Sandra. Thank you so much. Okay. I love you, Sandra. Thank See you very ya. much. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Well, boys and girls, well, oh, am I happy about this. Hey, howdy, boy. Did you see that, huh? Oh, boy, look, Clarabelle, there are kids in the peanut gallery after all. Uh, say, was that your big surprise, Clarabelle? No. Oh, your surprise is even bigger. Oh, boy, I wonder what it is. Oh, but right now, Clarabelle, I'm, I'm too happy to even think about it. Oh, uh, Buffalo Bob. Yeah, buddy, uh, yeah, uh, Buffalo Bob, look, buddy, I've got a great idea. Yeah? Look, how about starting today's show the way we used to a long time ago? 
I think I know what you mean. A wonderful idea. All right, boys and girls, for the last time, I'm going to say, say, kids, what time is it? Okay, and let's sing it. Here we go. It's howdy duty time. It's howdy duty time. Bob Smith and howdy do. Say howdy do to you. Let's give a rousing cheer, cause howdy doody's here. It's time to start the show. So kids, let's go! Well, that was wonderful, and there's one little girl here. Sweetie, would you stand up and sing it all alone? Come on, sing it real, real loud for me. Come on. Keep going, honey. Keep singing, singing. Howdy doozy, howdy doozy. And a girl. Howdy doozy, howdy doozy, howdy doozy. Ah, cowabunga, Clara. Now you watch me very closely. You watching? Now, what does this Indian sign mean, huh? That's it. Ah, oh, yes, you're right, Clarabelle. Sign means hooray. Hey, that was a pretty good guess, Clarabelle. Uh, All right, now watch. See if you can tell me, uh, tell me what this is. Watch. What's this, Clarabelle? <laughs> ah, Clarabelle, buddy, you're right. Yes, kids, it's Nabisco rice honeys and Nabisco wheat honeys. The best tasting breakfast cereal in the whole world. Oh, cowbugger, doggone, I should have guessed that. Yeah? Well, I eat wheat honeys almost every day. Almost every day? Well, other days I eat Nabisco rice honey. Ah, oh, ha, ha, you're smart, Chief. Yes, sir, just like all the boys and girls out there watching the show. And they know that Nabisco honeys really taste great because they're flavored with mm, honey. And doesn't that look good? Well, fellas, you can uh, quit guessing about your breakfast now. Here, Clarabelle, have some Nabisco wheat honeys and Nabisco rice honeys. And as Buffalo Bee says, they're delicious, especially with milk and fruit. Oh, and make perfect snacks, too, anytime. Ah, uh, yes, they're so boys and girls. You remember now, kids, always ask Mom to get Nabisco wheat honeys and Nabisco rice honeys for breakfast every day. Oh, how mixed up do pickles of America? Ah, uh, mixed up. Big boy, I see you're all packed, huh? Oh, no, 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 cowabunga. No, just starting, blah, blah, blah. What do you got here? Well, this carton is heaped full of, uh, old feather headdresses. Yeah? Blue moccasins, oh, you know. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a piece of rope to tie it up with. Well, that's Where a big it? carton. I think you're going to need a little help. Wait a minute, I'll call Clarabelle, would oh, you but... bring that rope there? Please, buddy. Help, help the chief tie this up. That's oh, it. Oh, yeah, help me. Here, here. just hold this end of it. I hold it. And Clarabelle, you help the chief tie up the carton. Thank you, Clarabelle. You see, boys and girls, after 13 years of being in Dutyville, <laughs> you can understand that we have uh, quite a few things that we've gathered up in the last 13 years. That's right. And some of the stuff we want to pack up and That's make sure right. that we take with us. Some of the things we'll probably leave here. Some of the things we'll probably give away to some of the boys and girls. And so this is why we've been so busy the past week here, just packing. Up things. Oh, heap sorrow. Is this pretty heavy, huh? Oh, God. Oh, thank you, Clarabelle. Well, why don't you set it down for Never a minute? Never mind the Boy Scout knots, Clarabelle. Just it's, set it down yeah, for I'm a minute. Just, a boy. What? Okay. Uh, What'd you. What? Oh, Clarabelle. Oh, 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 what happened? Clarabelle. You found it. You found it. You found it. Go, go that, that. Kids, I don't think Chief Thunderthud is going to get much packing done. That is not if Clarabelle's going to help him. But right now, kids, excuse me if you will a minute. I want to help and do a little packing myself. Excuse me, kids. Oh, boy, what a mess. Why, this place looks disgraceful. Why don't you get all this junk packed up, Howdy? Well, I'm doing the best I can, Mr. Bluster. You know, everybody's supposed to help. And that includes you. 
Me? You. That's ridiculous. I mean, if I helped pack, then, then, then who would supervise? Uh, Phineas, I think we'd all get a little more work done here if you do your supervising somewhere else. Would you do that for me, please? Man. Still giving orders. Well, I, we want to get some things done. Oh, uh, Buffalo Bob, uh, yeah, would you please look through that carton over there? Yeah, and see if there's anything in it that you want to keep. Well, I... Oh, say howdy, boy. I certainly want to keep this. Oh, well, what is it, Buffalo Bob? Well, this howdy is the Peabody Award. Yes, this was presented to the Howdy Duty Show for being the best children's program. Howdy, boy, I wouldn't give that up for anything. And I... Now, Clarabelle, this is no time to put things up, Clarabelle. We're trying to clean things away, and I... Oh, I have a secret, Clarabelle. Oh, is that your big surprise, Clarabelle? Well, what is it? Will you tell us what's the surprise, please? Find out later. All right. Careful, buddy. Now, I'll see you later. Howdy, we're going to have to find out later oh, just what it'll be. You're sure mysterious today. Uh, yeah. What could his secret be? Well, we'll just have to wait and find out later. I... Oh, howdy! Hey, buddy. Do you remember this? Oh, but, well, Baba, I don't even know what it is. Well, let me show you here. Howdy duty for president. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That was back in 1948. Yes, it sure was. You know, Howdy, you were elected president of all the kids with over a million votes. And howdy boy, what a campaign that was. You know, Buffalo Bob, that was the most exciting time of my life. Boy, oh boy, I'll never forget it as long as I live, especially the parades. elected president that year, and then re-elected in 1952, topping the more than million votes he received in 1948. Ah, those were great years. And we'll tell you more about them later. Well, boys and girls, right now, we're going to tell all of you about a free gift. The new action picture rings. Kids, take a look. Gosh, Buffalo Bob, look where we are. On Howdy Doody Action Picture Rings, free in packages of Nabisco Wheat Honeys and Rice Honeys. They fit any finger. And when you move your hand, the action pictures seem to come alive. Buffalo Bee shoots his guns. Chief Thunderthud does a war dance. And there's Clarabelle. Mr. Bluster, the flub dub eight colorful plastic rings, and there's one for you free inside every specially marked package of Nabisco Wheat Honeys and Nabisco Rice Honeys. 
The cereals kids love because Nabisco rice honeys are made especially for kids. Wheat honeys, too. Tiny puffs of rice or wheat. Flavored with real honey. Topped with luscious fruit and milk. They're great for breakfast. Or for snacks anytime, right out of the package. Remember, start collecting your Howdy Doody Action Rings today. Get one free inside every package of Nabisco Wheat Honeys and Nabisco Rice Honeys. Well, boys and girls, pretty soon we're going to be saying goodbye to all of you. And, of course, all of us in Dutyville are going to be saying goodbye to each other. And that includes all our Dutyville animals. Kids, would you like to see our Dutyville animals once more, huh? All right. Now, you can have a chance to say goodbye to them. I wonder how many of them you still remember. We'll find out, because, kids, here we go. All the animals of Dutyville, they're always full of fun. How many of them do you know? We'll let you guess each one. Now, who has big ears and lots of spunk? And where he goes, he takes his trunk. Who is it? Mambo Lights! Yes, Mambo, Mambo, that's my name. I'm an elephant, but I'm tame. And every time I get a chance, I sing a little song and I do a little dance. Goodbye, Mambo Bob. Goodbye, Mambo. Bye, Goodbye, Bye, buddy. Good luck, Mambo. Now, kids, tell me. Who's this? Now who's the oldest in Dutyville? She won't tell her age, she never will. It's Tizzy! Yay! Right! No! Tizzy, Tizzy, yes, that's me. I'm a dinosaur, as you see. But what put me into a rage? A folk to always ask my age. Do -do 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 -do. Goodbye, dear old there. Lovely children of America. I'm off to Green Pastures. Goodbye. You know, we never did find out how old she is. Well, anyway, boys and girls, who's this? Now name the twins who have no cares. They're furry, fuzzy teddy bears. Their name is Hide and Seek. Right. Oh, Hide and Seek. Yes, that's our name. Because Hide and Seek's our favorite game. My name is Hide. My name is Zeke, and we could play this game all week. Do 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 Tell me, boys and girls, who's this? Now name the friend we know so well. The house he lives in is a shell, and it's Tom Turtle. Right. I'm a Tommy Turtle, you're so right. I may be dumb, but I'm not bright. My shell is just an ugly dome, but still to me it's home sweet home. Yeah. Bye, kids. Bye, Bob. Bye, Tommy. Bye. Goodbye, buddy. Now, kids, who's this? Who's seven animals all in one? His mixed-up talk is always fun. Kids, it's the... Right, the flubber Yes, the flubber-dump is what I'm called. My hairy head is oh so bald. I can't uh, sing or play the violin, but I know a brand new riddle. Uh, but I know a brand new riddle? Huh? Flub riddle doesn't rhyme with violin. Certainly it does, Blippi. No, it doesn't. Uh, all right, what's a violin, then? Well, a violin is a fiddle. Right. Rhymes with riddle, right? Fiddle, oh, riddle, I, right? Oh, I, I forgot. Yeah. All right, what, what is your new riddle? Oh, oh yeah, the riddle. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what is black and white and red all over? Oh, now, come on, Flub. That's the oldest riddle in the world. Everyone in the world knows what's black and white and red all over a newspaper. <laughs> Uh, you're wrong, Blippi. I'm wrong? No, that's not the answer. Well, then you tell me, what is black and white and red all over? Uh, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> a sunburned zebra. <laughs> you see, the stripes are black and white, and he goes out in the sun, and he gets sunburned, and when he's sunburned... Oh, I know. It, it's, it's red, red all, all over. over. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, we, we love, love the animals of duty.
Secret, will you? Come on. What, what do you say? Make up for that little squirt. Huh? Come on. Tell me a secret. Who? Yeah? Oh, you can tell me? I'll be the first to know, right? Okay. That's the secret? Inside? Inside is the big secret. Can I open it? I'll be the first guy to know, right? Inside the big secret. Don't, don't tell nobody else, right? I'll rewrap it in my store for you. And then you and I both have a secret, right? Oh, boy. This is exciting. <laughs> right inside is big secret, right? That's great. Right inside, right? <laughs> oh, you clown! Go on! Things busted. I wish I did know what his surprise really is. Well, we gotta keep that. Keys to the cities. Key to the city of Buffalo, Joseph Muruck Mayor. How about that? How do you do? Well, ahoy there. Hello, ahoy, ahoy. How oh. are you, Captain? Well, I'm fine. I'm a little out of breath. I ran all the way from the wharf. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. I'm glad I got here in time, though. Well, nice I to see you, I sailed halfway Captain. around the world. I heard that everybody's leaving duty. Well, is that yeah. true, Buff? I... Well, thank you very much, Captain. You're certainly a real friend to stop yeah, can by I, Can here. I do anything to help you, lad? Say, Wendy, I'm, uh, I'm throwing uh, some of these magazines and things away. Uh, do you think some of this stuff you might like to take with you to look through, you know, when you're going on a long voyage or something? Mm, well, sounds like a very good idea, huh? maybe. Maybe right. I could do now, stuff oh. Wendy, look at this. Yeah. Now, this is a copy yeah. of TV Guide from the year 1952. Would you like it? Well, sure, matey. I mean, if, if uh, 1952 ever comes back, it'll come in mighty handy. <laughs> well, actually, you see, there's a reason I'm offering this to you, Captain Smith. I always figured It was in was, this yeah. issue, you see here, that Howdy was given the Television Guide Award as the best children's show. And back here is a picture of Vice President... Uh, Barkley, Alvin oh, Barkley, yeah, and Howdy and me and Clarabelle, yeah. and Attorney General Tom Clark. Say, that's very impressive. I'd like that? to keep that as a souvenir. Myself. All right, there. you can take that. Well, and, that uh, would be awful nice. Oh, say, look at this. What's that? This huh? is TV Radio Mirror. Yeah. How about that? This goes back to 1955 when Howdy was also claimed the best children. To look, there's oh. there's Howdy and Buffalo Mill. I, oh, Chiefy. Oh, Calabunga. Say, I'm in the back that? room here trying to clean out. And I found this bucket of old paint. What'd I do with it? Well, oh, yes, for heaven's sakes, sake, that's very important paint, bud. Yeah. Well, it certainly is. You can't throw that out. That's Clarabelle's magic paint. Magic paint? Magic paint? Right? Why, certainly it well, is. What, miracles? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we need there. one. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, what, you know, you know what, what this is for, Captain? Yeah, tell this me. This paints living pictures of anybody you're thinking about. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah? I'm thinking about Clarabelle, I, I heard that he's got the world's biggest surprise up his sleeve there for us. Hey, that's anyway. right. Let's paint him, shall yeah, we? maybe we can you watch out with what the thing is. Now, look, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll paint this, and you watch, boys and girls. Now, Captain Wendy Scuttlebutt is thinking about Clarabelle. We'll paint him in, and maybe we can find out just what the surprise is. Now, let's watch. There he is. There he is. And look at this. Guys. We want to know what the surprise is, and it says, wait and see. Oh, okay. Don't you squirt us, no, sir! Boy, 
I got rid of that just in time. Yeah, what happened there, my little boy? Well, I'll tell yeah. you, Wendy, I'm afraid we're just going to have to wait, buddy, and, and wait until Clarabelle's ready to tell us what a surprise is. Yeah, blow me down. I sure wonder what it is. Uh, well, I want to walk around, say goodbye to all my old duty mill friends, and I'll yeah. be shoving off to see you again. All right, good uh, luck, Wendy. Good luck to you, Buff. I know you'll have good luck. Goodbye, old boy. All right, and uh, maybe I'll see you in India or Hong Kong or someplace. Well, any place, I'll be there. Okay, so long, Wendy. Well, look me up any time. Well, let's see. I... Oh, say, boys and girls, I remember this. Actually, Clarabelle made millions of kids laugh with this silly old mop wig. Now, every time Howdy and Clarabelle and I would make a personal appearance, Clarabelle would play a little trick on me. He'd, well, I'll tell you what it'd do. I'd be standing in front of the boys and girls in the stadium or the theater, wherever we were playing, and uh, I'd be talking to the kids. I'd get up before the audience, and I'd start to make an announcement. Hello, buddy. And Clarabelle would always sneak up behind me with the wig. For instance, I'd say something like, well, you know, boys and girls, today, Clarabelle is supposed to be here. And as soon as Clarabelle gets here, kids, you tell me. Because we're going to do something very fun. Is it right? But, no, there's nothing on my head. No, I, no, there's nothing on my head. Kids, there's nothing on... See, this is my own hair, see? <laughs> Clarabelle is where? Over here? Clarabelle is over. Clarabelle! What? Oh, well, that's right. Well, anyway, when Clarabelle gets here, there's something that I want to tell you. You know, Chief Featherman has got something. No, well, there's nothing on my head. No, there's nothing on my head. Here. No, there's not, no, this is not a wig. I've been accused of, no, this is really my own hair. See, I, for 13 years, I've been accused of wearing a wig. But honest, it's my own hair, isn't it, Mother? And Emma, before Emma used to wash it. Well, anyway. <laughs> now, what are you doing? The last show, do you have to play the same? But you know, I'm kind of glad you did it, Clarabelle. Because you made the kids laugh, right? And kids? Who's the funniest clown? Well, let's sing it, all right? Oh, who's the funniest clown you know? And who's the clown on Howdy's show? Well, his feet are big, his tummy's stout, but we could never do without Clara, Clara, Clara Bell. And who has fuzzy wuzzy hair? Well, it's partly red, but mostly bare. And since the day that he was born, he's honked and honked and honked his horn. Clara, Clara, Clara Bell. Ah, thank you, buddy. Yeah, what, what do you got, Clara Bell? What? Kids, do you have any idea what his surprise is going to be? Look. I. Clara Bell, surprise today. But why don't you tell us what the surprise is now? Kids, do any of you have any idea what the surprise is going to be? Well, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, boys and girls. Do me a favor. Don't go away. Because our show isn't over as yet. No, sir, we're on for a full hour today, which means another half hour. And right after this announcement, the Howdy Doody Show will continue for another half hour of fun, and we'll find out what Clarabelle's surprise is. Stay tuned for another half hour of Howdy Doody following station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Now, this is your old friend, the inspector, saying to you that uh, we continue with the second half uh, of our last Howdy Doody show. Uh, starring my own grandson, Howdy Doody. Well, buddy, how do you like that? Isn't that beautiful? Ah, yes, sir, I was thrilled when I got this. You know, boys and girls, the gang here in Dutyville gave me this beautiful colored television set, and I really appreciate it. Oh, say, by the way, Clarabelle, uh, when are you gonna tell the kids your big secret? The big surprise? What? Kids watching? 
Oh, if the kids keep watching television, they'll learn your secret. Ah, that's wonderful. Good boy. Fine. Oh, yes, Chief. Cowabunga, Bubble Bob, can you come and talk to me? Got heat problem. Yeah, all right. I'll be right right there, Chief. Excuse me, Clarabelle. Chief wants to see me. Yeah, yeah, Chief. What is it, buddy? Well, I'll tell you, Bubble Bob. to the peanuts in the peanut gallery here. So I bring these balloons. Ah, that's wonderful. Now, very, very nice. Say, incidentally, Chief, uh, Clarabelle said that he was going to tell his well, secret on television. What's it? And see? as a matter of fact, he is on television right now. Oh, Cowabunga, I'm not interested in that silly clown or his secret. Oh, you're not, huh? I think even the peanuts are more interested in my balloons than in that clown Clarabelle. Well, I know that all kids like balloons, but after all, don't forget one thing. He's got a secret that's supposed to be a wonderful secret. Well, when are you going to give the balloons to the kids? Well, no Bob! Yep. What? I'm ready right now to give balloons to the peanuts. Now, well, come on, all right, I'll me. be glad to help you. Not... You help me, you... Oh, help. I'd be glad to help you if you had any balloons, but you got nothing but string. How a bunga. You I didn't even bring balloons. Ooh, ooh, what's going wrong with me? I sure I came in here with balloons. Well, I'm going to have a little snack, Chief. Ooh. Oh, cowabunga, I'm hungry. Let me have some of your banana. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Here, I'll make what? a little game. Good. If uh, I'll hide it behind my back, and if you guess which hand it's in, then you can have the banana, and if you don't guess it, I'll eat it, all right? Me hide my eyes. Fair enough. Go don't ahead. look. Don't, don't look, look, Chief. Now, let's see. Don't look. Not look. Uh, tell me, which hand do you think I have the banana in? Oh, a little psychic here. Which one? Uh, right. The right hand. You are right, and you get the banana. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Well, I can't understand it. Well, never mind. Let's watch Clarabelle on television. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. He's on television right now. Cowabunga, no. That clown looks sillier on television than he does in person. Yeah, but he might Look tell a him. secret, Chief. Oh, yeah! You know, Mr. Cobb, we sure collected a lot of things over the years. Well, 13 years is a mighty long time, howdy boy, I'll tell you that. Ah, oh, you're packing up, huh, corny boy? Here we are, Oh, uh, boy. Bob, yeah, I was just telling Mr. Cobb that I don't know how we possibly collected so many things. Oh. Well, after all, I'm not surprised, you howdy. You know, after all, we should have a lot of things here, corny. Do you realize that we had 18 long-time sponsors on the Howdy Doody Show. Oh, that's a record, I guess. And the 18 sponsors represented some 45 products. That's right, Bob. I was just looking here, just before I was packing. Look. Oh, let's here, make here, sure we take all of this with us. Here's huh? some of them right there. Paul Parrot shoes. Yep. Remember that, Corny? Yeah, long, long time. Oh, yes, sir. Look at this fella. Remember this fella? Oh, the Marx toys. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, we want to keep all oh, this. Here were some wonderful people, huh? Ludens. Do you remember Ludens? Ludens. Cough drops, the yeah. wild cherry, and the mint. Menthol, yeah. yes. For a long time. These, and oh, huh? cure ads. Do you remember those plastic bandages? And weren't these delicious? Oh, say, oh, boy, boy, when boy. Howdy Doody had his own Minute Maid lemonade stand. Do you right. remember oh, that? That was fun, wasn't uh, it? It sure was. It. And how about that, young man? There were two great buddies of mine. <laughs> Royal Gelatin. How about that? Yep. And there here was our our first really big sponsor. Colgate Dental Cream. Oh, with Gardol, Oh, of course, with yes, sir. Remember Mr. Gardol? Oh, and how about those? My favorites, Hostess Cream Filled Cup. Yes. Look at that. And, and Milky Way Candy Bars. Delicious. Yes, sir. Delicious. And Campbell's Soups and Campbell's Ketchup oh. and Tomato Juice. And what? Who was something, huh? Oh! Blue bonnet margarine. Uh, remember, yeah. remember the little blue bonnet that the oh. princess used to wear? Yeah, I do remember that, and there's something delicious. Ovaltine. How about him? And here's one of our special people. Corny, here. I'm glad you kept right him there. right out there. Yes, sir, <laughs> my real buddy, Wonder Bread. Oh, boy, that was terrific. Well, you know, kids, 
I'd like to say that all of us certainly appreciate the wonderful sponsors who have joined us on the Howdy Doody Show. Right, Corny? Yes, indeed. I, oh, hey, incidentally, yep. uh, off the subject a little yep, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've talked to Mr. Bluster before, you know, yep. and I tell you he is really very sad about this being the last show and everything. Well, look, very I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm glad you mentioned that, yeah. Corny. Phineas is pretty old. He feels kind of bad. Yeah, he does. I thought he was tough, you know, but Why he... don't I talk to him and... Uh, I'll try to cheer him up. Hey, good idea. Okay. You can do it if anybody can. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, let's keep packing here. <laughs> Look at this, Buff. I mean, howdy. <laughs> Can't uh, pack it, so I reckon I'll puff it. <laughs> How about that? I just, oh, uh, no, wait a minute, Mr. Cobb. That mean? animal may be from the planet Balloona. By George, you're right. Do you remember the time that Buffalo Bob and Clarabelle took a trip on the wizard's magic carpet and discovered the planet Balloona? I can remember that just like it was yesterday. They went up. How about this, Clarabelle, huh, buddy? Yes, sir, here we are, off into space. Mm-hmm. I... Look, Clarabelle. There's the moon. Now, that's also called Luna. No, 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 Clarabelle, we're not landing on the moon. No, 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 we're not. Come on, we're going past it. Come on. Clarabelle, wait, look. There's a planet behind the moon. Well, I've never seen that one. Let's go down and take a look. Come on, buddy. And I tell you, that's how they found Balloona, the planet behind the moon. Yes, and, and all the people and the animals on Balloona were balloons, just like that one. That's right, Howdy. They were just like this. Boy, the things that happened. Still, Clarabelle, look out. Look out, there are the balloons. They're attacking us. They're... Here, I'll get this pin and see if I can chase them away. How about that? Let's go, Clarabelle, let's get out of here. We haven't a moment to lose. Come on, buddy, let's go. Hang on. Oh, boy, Corny, we've sure had a lot of exciting adventures, but I guess that was just about as exciting as any. Well, I reckon it was, Howdy. What's this? I... How do you know what this is? This is the Howdy Doody scrapbook I found. The old Howdy Doody scrap... I gotta find Buffalo Bob. Show him this. you like this. Come on, now, come on, Clarabelle. It's getting late. Are you ready to tell us your big secret, please? Well, all right, not yet, okay. You will tell us, though, today? Okay. Look, Clarabelle, maybe you'll do me a favor. You know, Mr. Bluster feels very, very bad. Now, look, if you don't want to tell me what the secret is, that's all right. But you could do something very, very nice for somebody, and that's Mr. Bluster. Now, he feels very, very sad because, well, let's face it, once our show is over, Phineas won't be mayor of Dutyville any longer. And he's an older person, and he just won't feel important anymore. I figure you could make Phineas feel very important if... if you would tell him your secret. Don't have to tell me. Then he'd be the only one to know it besides yourself. Please, Clarabelle, just tell him. Don't tell me. Just tell him. Will you do that? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, come on, Phineas, buddy. <laughs> Phineas, will you cheer up, please? Oh, what have I got to cheer up about? Feel good. I won't be the mayor anymore. Well... From now on, I'll be nothing but an unimportant old man. <laughs> oh, dear. I, what are you trying to say to me? I, what? I, you think that I am important, Clarabelle? I, what? What are you... you Clarabelle, you mean I'm the only one that you're going to tell your surprise to? Would you really do that for an old man? Oh, uh, would you Clarabelle, that? you mean you're not going to tell me... You're just going to tell Mr. Bluster. He, he, yeah, oh, you see that, Bob, Bob? I'm still important. I'm more important than you are. You sure oh. are, Phineas. Yes. Uh, 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 come on, what's your surprise, Claire? Well, you've got to tell me now. What is it? Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, your pad? You're going to write it out? Ooh, all right. Ooh, let me see. Quick, write fast. Write shorthand or something. You like to see. Uh, Hurry up, will you? I am... Ooh. Well, no. I, 
Is that true? I don't believe it, Claremont. I got... Oh, what a surprise this is going to be for everybody. Oh, I can't wait. I... Listen, I'll keep this a secret, but believe me, Clarabelle, it's not going to be easy to keep a secret like this. Wow! Hey, buddy, thank you. I never saw him more happy in my life. But, Clarabelle, now I'm more curious than ever. Come on, tell me. What's the surprise? Will you tell me? Later. All right. Hey, Buff! Okay. Buff, oh, yeah, you? Carney, over here, buddy. Hey. Hey, Buff, I yeah. found the old Howdy Doody scrapbook. I wondered uh, what to do with oh, it, you know. I haven't looked at this. Well, I bet there's some terrific stuff in there. It's huh? been years, Corny. We certainly can't throw this away. Oh, I see not. Corny, let's look at some of these pictures. Oh, yeah, I'd yeah. love to look at some. Hey, wait a minute. I know what that you is, remember Buff. remember that? You know what that is? That's the peanut gallery on the very first Howdy Doody show. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was December the 27th, 1947, right? Yes, you realize that? a long that? time ago. Most of those peanuts have now grown up and have children of their own. And I'll bet that their children have been watching Howdy Doody, too. <laughs> yes, and St. Corny. <laughs> what? I love this one. Oh, look at that. Now, this was a Howdy Daddy show, where we had famous daddies and their children in our peanut gallery. I see familiar faces there, Bob. Yes, if you look carefully, you can see James Melton and Earl Wilson, Skitch Henderson, Ed Hurley, and there's Paul Winchell and Freddie Robbins. And High Gardner and Sid Caesar and Milton Berle and Jerry Lewis. Oh, them How about that? <laughs> and say, Corny, do you remember this little fella? Uh, I remember that filler. Well, this little boy, his name was Billy Offman, and back in 1950, he was selected out of thousands of boys all over the country as the one who looked most like Howdy Doody, and he sure did, didn't he? Oh, he sure looked like him. At Corny, that. is that a memory? Oh, I see this now. That was when we were celebrating the 1,000th Howdy Doody show. That's right, Corny. Good celebration. And this goes back to 1952, yep. when Howdy Doody was elected president of all the boys and girls in America and received over one million votes. How about that? Oh, see, I remember this one, Buff. This is done in, in Rockefeller Plaza there where you and, and Clarabelle lighted the great biggest Christmas tree in the world. That's there. Oh, right, Corny. I remember that. And this is one when we had Duty Dime Day, when over two million boys and girls earned their dimes and sent them in to help fight polio. Oh, that was big help. Say, Corny, was this a party? Oh, it sure was. And all the kids in, in, in the peanut girl are singing Howdy Doody, Happy Birthday, on his 10th show, 1957. That was the 10th year. How right. about that? Well, I mean 10th year. Yes, and <laughs> this, kids, was Dutyville's favorite girlfriend. Oh, pretty little girl. Little Peppy Mitz. Good old Peppy. Well, Corny, we're certainly going to have to save these pictures, buddy. There are thousands more in there. And you know, something that's made me very happy, was Corny, it? that we had such a wonderful opportunity to travel all over the country. Oh, we traveled, yeah. Bring pleasure and fun to kids yeah. all over. Oh. You know, wherever we went, Clarabelle made those kids laugh. You know what this brings to mind? Yeah, what's that? That trip that we all took to St. Paul, oh, yes. Minnesota, for the <laughs> Winter Carnival. Yes. Hooray for old King Boreas. He's a glorious He's guy. He's a glorious guy. Yes, and here's a picture of Clarabelle right now. And that was in the big parade. Clarabelle always said hello to all the boys and girls wherever he went. There were thousands of kids lined this, the, 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 the parade route there. That's right, and the policemen were there, and Clarabelle was shaking hands with everything. What a glorious trip that was to St. Paul. What a glorious trip that was. Uh, <laughs> yes. You know what I'm wondering now? Though? What is that, Corny? I'm wondering if all the kids in the peanut gallery are feeling kind of sad about some things, you know. Well, like I'll tell we you, Corny, right? if they are, I think we ought to cheer them all up with a cheer-up song. How about it? We can cheer them up. Shall we do it? Let's Come on, let's go over to the gallery right now. And... Oh, Clarabelle, you're going to tell us your big surprise now? Huh? You're not. Oh. <laughs> Clap your hands. <laughs> oh. I think we can do it anyway. All right, kids, here we go. Now, here's a happy little song. That you all can help me sing. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, and then we'll cheer you up when you feel blue. Now, shout hip hooray! Hip hooray! La la la! la, la, la. And when you're sad. 
and that's all you have to do. And you know, kids, now if you feel unhappy just cause things aren't going right, then sing this funny little song. The future will look bright when you clap your hands, stamp your feet. It's beautiful weather. It is not. It's raining right in here, Buff. I guess I... Don't you argue with me, weatherman. You mean I mean it's raining in a telephone booth. You better... <laughs>